Hey everyone, Ash here, and it is time to begin episode three of Back to the Future, the game. I've been uh, I've been having trouble with the uh, YouTube uploader as of late. I'm not sure what the deal is, but it's been giving me real grief. But anyways, we'll see how this goes. Since uh, the uploader has been given. Thursday, May 15th, 1986. But yeah, anyway, since the uploader has been giving me problems, I played this entirely through, so... Oh, there we are. And yeah, we just slammed right into that billboard. But yep. Back to the future. But yep, since I, uh... Since the uploader has been giving me problems, I, uh, I played this all the way through, so... Yeah, I have pretty much an idea of what I need to do. Marty has uh, naturally been knocked out since he crashed the DeLorean into that billboard. Obviously, uh, the girl there her music was loud enough not to hear, not to hear Marty crush, crash the, uh... Duck! We've got everything under control. Her music was loud enough for her not to hear the, uh, DeLorean crash into the billboard. Let's see if we can get her attention. This is the dumbest design ever. Uh, hello? can't hear me yep and yeah I'm don't worry everybody I'm okay the billboard broke my fall I kind of have to agree I'm not sure who a uh... it's jam okay we can't get out the that way I'm not sure who makes a window like this anyways let's see about using the horn Jennifer? Yep, yeah, that that's Marty's girlfriend, or well, you'll see. Let's push the horn again. Whoops, it kinda malfunctioned there. Jennifer, I need some help. Martin? It is you. Is that a DeLorean? Yes, it is. Uh, DeLorean? The giant stainless steel sports car you've somehow managed to ram through the billboard? Uh, never mind that. Just give me a hand, okay? Oh, that's a that's real funny. So who are you supposed to be? Luke or Bo? This isn't funny, Jennifer. And also, I meant to click, yes, it was a DeLorean, but for some reason I clicked that, no, it wasn't. Yeah, what's the date? Oh, man, what's the date? What? That's something I should be asking you. You've probably wrecked your head. Just, what's the date, Jennifer? It's the 15th. The year? 1986. Duh. Oh, man, oh, man, this can't be happening. Yep, she, she changed. Jennifer, you look so different. That's the general idea of being a nonconformist. That's not what I meant. What are you getting at? Her hair, for one thing. What'd you do to your hair? Helter skelter. What? It's the same hair dye I always use. Oh yeah, what about her clothes? What are you wearing, Jen? You look so... Fed up? Keen eye you got there. I was gonna say punk. A whole world alien to the likes of you, dork. And, uh, yeah, she's got quite the attitude. What's with the attitude? I'm not having this argument again. You've argued about this before? I'm guessing you won the argument. Never mind. Never mind. I gotta get out of this car. Good idea. Yeah, what's she doing down there? What are you doing down there? 
Not that you'd ever understand it, but I'm doing my part to support the arts in Hill Valley. Anyway, what's the technical term for attempting to jump your DeLorean through a billboard? Where did you even get a DeLorean? Is it stolen? That's a little complicated. I bet. Now, we need down. Can you help me down? Why don't you just jump? I'll break my neck. And? Call for help. Could you call someone? A tow truck, maybe. Get real. I'm in enough trouble already. I'm not going to explain your DeLorean violating a billboard to anyone. Okay. Help me with the door. The door's jammed. Can you get it open? I can't reach it. Besides, I'm not climbing under the car. It could come down on my head. <laughs> Given her attitude, I don't think that would be such a bad thing. Now, now the only option we have left is to ask if she has anything useful. You got any rope you can toss me? Uh-uh. All I have is this rusty wrench thing I found in the dirt. A tire iron. I think that'll do. Toss it here. Oh, back off, Martin. This is my witch, it. What do you give me for it? Okay, we need the tire iron. May I please have the tire iron? The tire who? The big metal thing you're holding. Oh, right. As soon as you offer up a decent trade. Ugh. Come on, cough up the tire iron. Jennifer, please, this is serious. This tire thing really has some value to you, huh? At the moment, yes. Then it better be a pretty good trade. <laughs> yeah, we... All right. Let me think this through. Don't strain your brain, Geekzilla. Yeah, we can't talk her out of giving us a tire iron, but we have something that we can give her. Irving Kid Tannen. Alright. We could give her this. Jennifer! This is all I got. Is there anything in it? Give it here. Uh, smells like armpits and booze. Irving Kid Tannen, the gangster? Where the hell did you get this? It's a long story. Can I just have the tire iron now? Heads up! Thanks! Oh, great. Now what? And there goes the, there Oops. goes the window. Oh. Of course, I, uh, that was a good way out, though. Yeah, Doc's notebook. Well, your dorkness, my debt to society is paid. As for you, good luck with your car. Way to stick it to Big Brother. Just don't expect your sudden cry for attention to change anything between us, dig? Doesn't change what? Look, Jennifer, I think there are some things we need to talk about. Hey, maybe you can give me a lift into town. Oh, sure, Martin. Climb on in. Jennifer, wait! I told you, we're through, McFly. I'll never date such a square again. My own girlfriend thinks I'm a square? Jesus, could this get any worse? Uh, good job, Marty. You just, uh, kind of jinxed it there. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Yep, that... That car is not going... Hold on a second. Uh, and the car won the fight there. But yeah, that... Doc, I could really use your help right about now. Relax! We've got everything under control. But, uh... Yep, I think I'm... G get yourself over the wall and into Hill Valley. I think I'm going to end the video here. But when we come back, we, as the gold will say, will attempt to get into Hill Valley. Later.